NASA is counting down to a Christmas morning launch of the new James Webb Space Telescope. Two days and counting at $10 billion. It will be the biggest and most expensive science instrument ever sent into space. And it could help answer some of your most pressing questions about the universe. I know you've got some. But as Mark Strassman shows us, hundreds of things have to go right before the telescope can capture a single image. From its perch a million miles beyond Earth, the James Webb Space Telescope will glimpse the dawn of time like nothing before it. The universe is this 13.8 billion year story, and we're missing some key paragraphs in the very first chapter. NASA astrophysicist Amber Strawn hopes Webb's discoveries will fill in the blanks. You're talking about potentially answering some of the questions that have occurred to people since the first people looked up at the stars. Absolutely. We don't know how galaxies got their start. We will hopefully be able to see those first galaxies for the very first time. And of course, galaxies are the homes of stars, and stars are the homes of planets, and planets, of course, are the homes of life. And so this telescope is definitely going to be our next giant leap in our search for habitable planets in our galaxy. Webb's 18 gold-plated hexagonal-shaped mirrors will align to create one giant mirror. It's 21 feet across, six times larger than the one on the Hubble Space Telescope. For more than three decades, Hubble has given us stunning, humbling views of the universe. But Webb will be a major upgrade. Like a night vision camera, this infrared telescope will search for heat signatures of the very first light after the Big Bang. Mike Menzel is the Webb's mission systems engineer. We're looking for some of the faintest objects that there are to see in the universe. In fact, we are looking for the faintest objects. If the telescope doesn't get cold, then it will actually glow brighter than the objects we're looking for. To block the sun's heat from blinding Webb, engineers designed a first-of-its-kind sun shield the size of a tennis court. Its five layers will keep the telescope side more than 600 degrees colder than the sun-facing side. This is material, this is Kapton material that makes up the layers of the sun shield. This material here is about two thousandths of an inch thick. Yeah, it's amazing how much, how much responsibility something this thin has. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> right? Yes, yes. And because that sun shield is so big, it and everything else had to fold up to fit inside the rocket. Once in space, Webb will carefully unfold and rebuild itself like robotic origami. It'll be two and a half weeks of high anxiety. <laughs> Project manager, Bill Oakes. It's more complex than any satellite NASA's ever launched. It, it is hands down. The complexities of its deployment, the materials that it's been made of, has never been tried by a NASA mission before. If any one of 344 parts fail, the entire mission could be jeopardized. About one-third involved deploying that sunshield, 1,300 feet of cables, almost 600 pulley assemblies, and it all has to work. The, the sunshield doesn't have to be 100% perfect, but it's got to be pretty damn close to being 100% perfect for it to work. A million miles out, something goes wrong, there's no call in AAA. No, that is no call in AAA, but I am confident that we did everything we could on the ground to maximize the probability of success of this mission. Webb's first image is about six months away, worth the wait for the chance to see baby pictures of the universe. For CBS Mornings, Mark Strassman, Greenbelt, Maryland. Nice. It's a $10 billion project, pretty big gamble. They're putting it on a rocket. I hope it works. I'm definitely rooting for it. Thanks, Mark.